Instagram is slowly turning into Facebook, which means it is shifting towards a video dominant platform. As an entrepreneur and content creator, I believe it is crucial to figure out and learn how to streamline your content, especially on YouTube, so you can put them into video formats with text to post on the Instagram. Luckily, taking snippets out of your YouTube video and putting it into that format for Instagram is super easy, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. YouTube, what is up? My name is Austin, I'm 22 years old, and I wish I would've started this channel a long time ago Ago because ever since I started my own business and taking my own content creation more serious, there are tons of things that I've learned along the way, and I just want to be able to share that with you all. First thing, I would greatly appreciate if you could show love for all the hard work I'm putting into all this content by hitting that subscribe button and putting a thumbs up on this video. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you have to do is get your finished edited video onto your phone from your computer. For me, I use iMovie to edit and render my videos. So once I'm done with that, I will airdrop it to my iPhone. And yeah, go into your camera roll and trim out the section of the video that you want to use for your Instagram post. Now, once you're done with that, you're going to want to download an app on your iPhone. I believe it's on Android too, called Video Shop. It is a free app and they do have a paid version for $5 a month and I used to pay for it but the additives that you got with it weren't uh, worth the $5 a month in my opinion. But yeah, so you want to import your clip that you just got done trimming in your camera roll and once you upload it, you might have to trim it just a little bit more to get it perfect. Remember, Instagram allows you to post a video up to one minute so uh, it can be that long or you can make it a little bit shorter. And after you do that, you're gonna wanna click the resize button towards the bottom and you're gonna wanna click the Instagram, the one by one ratio to the left. And what that will allow you to do is to pinch and crop your entire video into the picture. And the reason you want to do this one over the other one is because uh, this will allow you to show the full video with the full text for your thumbnail. I'll go ahead and click text at the bottom. We're gonna add some text to the top and bottom. Uh, I like to do all caps for the most part. And remember, really be strategic about this. Make it something that is enticing, something that's going to make people want to click the video and listen. I also like to add the glow effect because I think it pops a little bit more. And to make your fonts bigger and smaller, you simply just like pinch the screen or zoom it. And yep, I just set it up there. Now you want to click the text and see that time symbol at the bottom. Yeah, click that and you want to drag it all the way to the end of the video so the text is showing uh, for the whole duration of the video. Now go ahead and do the same exact thing for the bottom. Try to match the colors as best as you can and same exact process. And then you are pretty much done. So you can click next, it's gonna compile the video and then you can save it to your camera roll. It really is that easy. So the final thing left to do is to go to your camera roll. I would watch it, make sure that it is as sexy as you want it to be. And then you can go ahead, open Instagram, open your video and look how perfectly cropped it is. So before you post it, I would definitely go to the cover, AKA your Instagram thumbnail and choose whatever best facial expression or emotional expression uh, you think is gonna get people to click the video. And that is it. I already made this video in the past and posted on Instagram. I will show you a brief snippet of what it looks like reason you might be skinny fat and this could apply to you if you have been lifting weights but still aren't seeing the changes in your body that you want would be because you are not eating enough protein now let me try to simplify this so if you are lifting weights on a good program three to five days per week you're progressive overloading you're doing everything right in the gym but you aren't eating enough protein to support the recovery and the muscle gain you're not going to really improve your body composition think about it how many people do you know that work their ass off in the gym but really never look any different year to year now of course there's going to be other and it really is that easy. And I want to kind of touch on this, but I think it's hard for us to understand, you know, us small creators, small YouTube accounts, small Instagram accounts, to really understand how many other people there are exactly like us wanting to gain a following, gain subscribers, and gain a community. And we're always making the mistake of comparing our content and our work to those people who have thousands and millions of subscribers and followers. I think it's important to continually put things into perspective for yourself and uh, realize that these people have a team helping them create content. Not only that, but they once started in a place with you where uh, they were their only employee, they were the only person having to produce content, and they were consistent. They got better at it over time, and they kept learning uh, how to work smarter and maybe not harder. And for those who may actually really struggle with that and get discouraged easily, it might be a good idea to just stop consuming other people's content so you can focus on your own. And it's really crazy how much I've learned these last couple months since I really started taking my own content creation seriously, and I really think the key for small creators 
creators is the quicker you can learn how to streamline your content, especially just for one YouTube video, will be the quicker you can start seeing momentum and start building a community and get more awareness on all platforms. And a lot of times these small creators like myself either have full-time jobs or they're a full-time student, so they can't spend 40 or 50 hours a week focusing on creating content. So our time is very valuable and if you can create content on multiple platforms for one to two weeks just off one YouTube video, that is going to be very, very efficient and effective with your time. And as I get better and as I learn more and as I try new things with my own content, uh, I'm seeing more organic growth on my Instagram, on my podcast, on my YouTube than I ever have. All I'm saying is I'm doing it, I'm sharing what I have learned, and I'm telling you guys that I am seeing more growth out of doing what I've been doing than I ever have doing anything else ever, period. Although the majority of content on this channel is fitness related, I just have a huge passion for digital marketing, social media, and entrepreneurship in general. So with that, if you do check out my content on other platforms, uh, please leave me a comment of any topic regarding entrepreneurship or really just anything that you would like to hear me speak about because I would love to help you all and uh, share my own experiences. I seriously appreciate the support so much and I plan on keeping the videos rolling out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one.